As of 5 p.m. today, we in Mississippi are considered to be on lockdown, that is a shelter in place in our state. While this is seemingly tough on each of us, what we are doing is birthed in a biblical concept that is almost a lost concept today. It is sacrifice. By definition, sacrifice means to surrender or give up or permit injury or disadvantage to us for the sake of something or someone else. And an illustration of this might be that parents sacrifice for their children so their children can have good things the parents do without. You know, we would understand that type of term terminology. And yet the sacrifice of today means that we are giving up our right to do the things that we are used to doing for the purpose of being able to keep people safe and defeat a disease and one day have a life free from all the restrictions of today. In the old Star Trek phrase, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. It's called sacrifice. Sacrifice is the story of the Bible. But there is one difference in the Bible story. Today, we don't have to sacrifice for our sins because Jesus has already sacrificed for us. I want you to take a minute and watch how this works and then be encouraged. Here's what you and I need to know. In this world lives people who do wrong and displease God. I know that's surprising, but it's the truth. The Bible calls this sin and calls us sinners. We know that the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness or remission for sin. This is kind of like the way the United States became a free nation. Since the beginning of our nation, innocent blood has been sacrificed or spilled on the field of battle to purchase our freedom. And never forget, freedom is never free. Someone somewhere at some time bought our freedom with the sacrifice of innocent blood. When we move into the spiritual realm, the truth is left to our own. There is and was no way we could pay the price for our sin. There was no way we could be made right before God. So God sent Jesus to pay the price for our sin so that we could be forgiven and have a relationship with Jehovah God. First John 1 says it this way. Love consists in this, not that we love God, but that he first loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sin. Now watch how parallel this is with us today. We have given up our rights to do all those things that we used to do. And Jesus gave up his rights in heaven by leaving heaven and coming to earth. We are doing this so that health and healing can come to people's bodies. Jesus did the same so that he could sacrifice so that health and healing could come to people's souls. When we defeat the coronavirus, people can live a long time on earth. When Jesus defeated sin, he made a way for us to live an eternal life in heaven. We sacrifice for others out of our love for mankind, and he sacrificed for us out of his love for us. If you go back to 1 John, the next verse says this, If he loved us this much, we must also love one another. Now, I'll take a few moments next week and unpack that thought. But today, my encouragement is for each of us to see and sense God's love for us through the sacrifice, the atoning sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. And then when we see that, to decide to intentionally love others in that same way. It may well change your life for the better. It may be a sacrifice but it's worth it. And I'll suggest to you that the benefits are out of this world. God bless you. Father, be close to us today and walk us through this valley with us. We love you, Lord. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen.